Hi guys, David here. Today we're going to talk about how to read a dial caliper and how to use it. Okay guys, the first thing you need to do is make sure your gauge is calibrated right. So push it together and as you can see here it's not. You loosen this little knob down here and you move it to its own zero. Once it's on zero, you can tighten a little knob here and it should lock it in place. Now, you know, test it down, moving it back and forth. Now we can begin measuring. While well, dial caliper is in thousands of inches, if I move it to the 10 here, that's 10 thousands. This is 20 thousands, 30 thousands, and so on. Once you get back around, that's one hundred thousandths. And uh, you can read down here too by the numbers. You see the one there. When you get to it, that's one hundred thousandths. So this little chart might help you a little bit better reading this. You can see it a little bit better. You know, every little Every little mark that's on the scale here is one hundred thousandths, two hundred thousandths, three hundred thousandths, four hundred thousandths, five hundred thousandths. So you got here one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. When you get to ten of them, that makes one inch. So if we've got something that's marked over here, like that right there, we got a it's going to be one inch, one hundred thousandths. Then we got to use the scale here. And say down, let's say if it's on this mark right here. That's, you got 20, 21, 22. So that's one inch, one hundred and twenty-two thousandths. That's how you would read it. Let's say we're going to measure this dial here. If I don't measure, I'll open it up and I'll close it. And as you can see, you count the numbers over one, two, three, four. So it's four hundred and thirty two thousandths. So that's the diameter of this dial here. If you want to measure the thickness of wood, down, and open it up again, then we close it, and you can see here. And it, as you see here, you count the numbers over. Now, it's if you notice, it's real close to the eight, but it's not down by this right here. It locks just a little bit, so it's seven hundred ninety-four thousandths. So that's how thick this wood is right here. Okay, we're going to measure the width of this piece here. We um, hold it together, and you count over, and, uh, and you see it's two inches, a big two here. Then it's 100, and looks like 69 thousandths. To measure the inside diameter, we're going to use the other end here, this end right here. And we got to move it in. And then you move it out till it touches. When it stops, use the little roller wheel. When it stops, that's it. So, and you can you can lock it in place here by this little thumb screw. Okay. So as you can see here. If we look at, count over the numbers, it's 600, and looks like it's 616 thousandths, almost 17. So it's 616 thousandths, that's the inside diameter. That's how you read it. Here's a sign that I've made in one of my past videos, and to check the the depth of the cut here, I can use the other end here, stick it out 
further than what it's going to be. You hold it down and you push down. Once it stops, that should be your reading. So it's so it's one hundred and fourteen thousandths deep. That's how deep it is here. Now, and that's how you check check the depth of a hole or anything. So these ain't that hard to read. It just takes a little practice, but just remember you're in thousands. And it's good to have a, a chart so you can convert this if you need to. Guys, I printed out from the internet on a chart to keep on hand here so I know, you know, when I'm measuring with thousands, that you know one eighth of an inch is 125 thousandths. Um, I haven't used that so much that I know about all of these except that on the, the odd numbers here. And I used to be in machine shop. But, uh, you know, that's if you measure something and it's 125 thousand thick, you know it's one eighth of an inch thick. So it's good to have a chart like this on hand when you're measuring stuff. So I hope you learned something from my video here. That, uh, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.